Do you still support the Night Commander? I don't care a fig for her, but she's the only one holding back the madness in this city. Holding back? She's howling at the bloody moon. Even her own people think she's lost it. What will it take for you to see that she's crazy? Mages in glass houses shouldn't throw fireballs. Greetings, champion. That is what they call you in your city, isn't it? Did you need something? I'm always amazed by the beauty of the Dalish. If you are trying to initiate... something, don't bother. I'm not interested in a Shemlin. Greetings, champion. That is what they call you in your city, isn't it? Did you need something? I hear there is a criminal hiding among the Dalish. He is not among us. This criminal of yours is set up in a cave away from our camp. He said there would be people looking for him, and to tell anyone who asked where he was. I thought the point of hiding was not to be found. He said he didn't want to endanger our people by asking us to lie for him. Not something you'd expect from a cruel and evil murderer, is it? He'll be waiting for you at the cave. Good luck trying to reach him, however. Strange. The man wants to be found. In my experience, all Dalish women are crazy.
strange. The man wants to be found. Traps. You can't say our man wasn't prepared. I don't like the looks of it. Done.
I wasn't expecting. How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai, adventurer and occasional assassin. I've heard about you. You helped the hero of Ferelden stop the blight. At your service, my friend. I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the Krolls, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. How do you know I'm the champion? Slayer of Kunari, Deep Roads Explorer, and, may I say, one fine specimen of manhood. You underestimate your fame. I'll assume you're not talking about birds. Oh, please, do not tell me you know nothing of the Antivan Crows. We are the finest guild of assassins, an object of fear throughout the lands for any man with wealthy enemies. <laughs> or, I should say, they are. I am no longer a crow, a fact they find unacceptable. There must be more to it than you leaving the guild. That is offense enough to the crows, believe me. I may have also killed the last four assassins they sent after me, and uh, older men. Oh, and the guildmaster. In fact, if you were a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. I thought you'd be taller. Ah, let me guess. A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? That I killed his wife? Butchered his parents? Sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? He didn't mention how handsome. Ah, so you've noticed. I credit my high cheekbones and pouty lips. Bring me to Nuncio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The crows do not like loose ends. Unlike myself. But you are a man who can clearly handle himself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or you can take me to Nuncio. Which will it be, I wonder? I like your list of options, but does it have to be in that order? I knew you couldn't resist my obvious charms. It's, it's the accent, isn't it? You're very compliant for a fugitive. Compliant, yes, and very bendy. But truthfully, I know when I am outmatched. I would rather take my chances against the crows. I'm not going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Fare you well. I let your assassin go. Was I not supposed to do that? You had him? And you let him go? I am thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Ah, poor stupid Nuncio. The crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. 
Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the Warden, <laughs> I will never guess. Let me tell you, it's a burden I bear on a daily basis. You are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zebron. You'll die here. Yes, well, let's see how that works out for you. That should do it. Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. I've little reward to offer you, champion, but perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. It is time for me to move on. Unless you'd uh, care to get to know each other better, champion. I warn you. I grew up among whores. My fingers are quite nimble. I like nimble fingers. Excellent. A small diversion before I head home to wage my war against the guild. Or perhaps I should say, a large diversion. No need to undersell it, huh? Is this for me? It's beautiful. Do you know what it is? Well, I thought so right up until you asked me that. It's Sylvanwood. Rare as diamonds. You only find it in very old, very wild places. The carvings tell a story of the betrayal. The dread wolf tricking all the gods away from the world. 
start at the beginning. What happened to the gods? Long ago, there were two clans of gods. The creators looked after the people. The forgotten ones preyed upon us. And one god who was neither. Than Harrow, the dread wolf. He was kin to the creators, and in the old days often helped them in their endless war against the forgotten ones. I assume he got tired of helping. That he did. Van Harrel was clever. He could walk among both clans of gods without fear, and both believed he was one of them. He went to each side, and told them the other had forged a terrible weapon, a blade that would end the war. He told the creators it was forged in the heavens, and the Forgotten Ones that it was hidden in the abyss. And when the gods went seeking it, he sealed them both in their realms forever. Now he alone is left in the world. Betrayal sounds bad. Next time I'll go with flowers. It's not bad, exactly. This was made for a keeper, you see. Guarding a clan from the Dread Wolf is a keeper's place. I had one of these once. And I gave it back, Marceranus. I suppose you're just thrilled how the Knight Commanders basically stepped into the Viscount's seat. The Elves should stand with us. They have suffered too. Always remember where you started, Hawk. So, you've done well for yourself. I had my doubts the first time I saw you, but I guess there was something to that hawk fellow Leandra ran off with after all. You made a pretty good son anyway. Your mother would be proud. Uncle Gammon, was that affection? I'm feeling sentimental. With Bethany locked in the gallows, you're the only real family I have left. For a long time, I thought the Amel line in Kirkwall would end at me. I'm glad you pulled it out of the grave. Speaking to Donick the other day. Since when do you talk with my husband? He comes to the mansion once a week. We play Diamondback. What? Why am I not invited to these games? He says you get angry when you lose. I do not. All right, perhaps I do. Still, that's no reason not to tell me. He's a good man, Aveline. I enjoy his visits. Fine, fine. Have your man time, then. Here, boy. Have something to wet your teeth on. Freshly confiscated mutton, just for you. Have at it. Just checking on my best guardsman. He's helping the men to learn healthy respect and how to run.
business in the square. I hope there's no trouble. You still owe me five sovereigns, Elf. I'm good for it. Meaning that you'll borrow it from Hawk, probably. Coming to the Hanged Man for Wicked Grace later? Never miss it. They would all be at peace if so. Rick had lived. Please do not converse with the mages. Night Commander wishes to speak to you. Welcome. Always a pleasure. And may I say that outfit was a wise choice. I do not wear this armor for the way it looks, champion. No, that's far too flattering to be an accident. Compliments are unnecessary. This is no social call. There was an incident within the gallows. A number of phylacteries were destroyed, and several mages took the opportunity to escape. We've recovered most of the fugitives. However, I require your assistance in tracking down the last three. How did the phylacteries get destroyed? An insurrection. Several of my own Templars orchestrated the escape, presumably out of sympathy for the mages. They turned their backs on their duty and endangered their charges, as well as the city. Thankfully, most who escaped fled to their families and offered no resistance. The last three are proving more... difficult. Since you're turning to me, should I assume the Templars all suddenly disappeared? 
the apostates are being sheltered by their families. Some have been reluctant to talk to Templars, but you are another matter. The people of Kirkwall trust you, Champion. They will be more honest for you than for us. I'm not doing your job for you. You have a sister in the Circle of Magi, do you not? Bethany is her name. You do anything to her and I'll make you pay. Your sister is an exemplary mage. I bring her up only to illustrate the point that I do not believe their kind are all the same. If these fugitives harm this city, the people will turn against the Circle. And that does affect your sister. Talk to these mages' families. Investigate for yourself whether they need be recaptured. Seems like you're giving me a lot of rope. Trying to hang me with it? I'm trying to solve a difficult problem in as gentle a fashion as I dare. You do not approve of my methods. But perhaps you will change your mind when you see firsthand how dangerous these apostates are. Speak to my assistant Elsa. She can tell you whatever you need to know about the fugitives. I bid you good day, champion. Good day, champion of Kirkwall. Knight Commander Meredith has informed me that you will be tracking down the apostates on behalf of the Templars. There are three of them. Huon, Emil, and Evelina. Why does Meredith have a tranquil assistant? The Knight Commander believes tranquil mages to be efficient and single-minded. I, in particular, am extremely organized. Are the apostates blood mages? The Knight Commander suspects this, yes. But she does not know for certain. The Knight Commander tends to assume all apostates practice blood magic. She prefers to err on the side of caution. I want to hear about Huon. Huon is an elf. He was apprehended in the alienage ten years ago. His wife, Nisa, works for a dressmaker in Lowtown. Have the Templars spoken to her? Yes. Nisa insists she has not seen Huon since he joined the Circle. Could Huon be hiding among the other elves in the alienage? The Templars' searches uncovered nothing. The Templars have also concluded that few other elves would risk hiding him. Huon was taken many years ago. Most of the alienage's inhabitants do not even know him. Tell me what you know about Emile. The second apostate is Emile de Lancey, fifth son of the Comte de Lancey. Out of Hightown, some of our more vocal and delicate nobility. They are home in the evenings authoring complaints. What have they said to the Templars? The Comte and Comtesse say they have not seen Emile since he was a child. What have they said to the Templars? The Comte and Comtesse say they have not seen Emile since he was a child. What do you know about the de Lancey's? Comte Guillaume de Lancey is a minor noble from Orlais. He and his wife came to the Free Marches over three decades ago. Emile was born in Kirkwall and sent to the Circle at age six. What do you know about Evelina? Evelina was trained for eight years in the Circle in Ferelden. She was last seen in her former residence among the refugee community in Darktown. How did she come to be in Kirkwall? Evelina claims to have fled the Blight, not the Circle. She presented herself to the First Enchanter on her arrival and asked to take her place here. That doesn't sound like a fugitive. Anything else? Our files indicate she petitioned Meredith for financial support of numerous other pre-adolescent Blight survivors. I have all the information I require for now. Good luck on your search, Champion of Kirkwall.
there's a war coming. Does it feel different, fighting by choice? You were never ordered to kill? I was a soldier, but I was willing. I was willing as well, but not by choice. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Does anything in this mess.
We got nothing here you'd want. Get back to Hightown and leave us alone. You're a little young for a blood mage. And I thought Evelina was a girl's name. I'm not Evelina. I'm Walter. Evelina was our friend. She was our mother. Evelina found us when the Darkspawn came, when our parents died. She made sure we got to Kirkwall safely. I miss her. But when she went to join the Circle here, they called her apostate, for leaving the Tower and for Elden. They locked her up. You came from Ferelden? Yes, until we got here, I thought we were the only ones who had survived. Don't you have any other family? Everyone died in the blight. Evelina kept picking us up, new children every day, everyone she could save. Do the Templars know you're here? They don't care. They only want Evelina. Didn't she want to stay free with you? She didn't want us to be stuck in Darktown. She wanted to give us a real life. She thought the Circle would help her, but they just locked her away. Didn't she want to stay free with you? She didn't want us to be stuck in Darktown. She wanted to give us a real life. She thought the Circle would help her, but they just locked her away. What was she expecting? Welcome. Here's a bag of gold for your urchins. Do you think we deserve to live like this? Evelina just wanted to give us the lives we would have had at home. But when she came back to us, the Templars followed her. The Templars made Evelina angry. They made her change. It wasn't her fault. When it was over, she was ashamed. She ran into the tunnels and hid. Shut up, Cricket. Don't tell them that. She's in the sewers, child. You can't go there. She'll know we told you and she'll be angry at us. Angry? I didn't like when she got angry. We... we have to hide. Cricket!
like the looks of this. All set. What are you doing here? I, I thought if we warned her about you, she, she wouldn't be angry. But then she... Walter... She's coming! Run! There you are. Don't run from me, Walter. You know those are the rules. Funny. In my house, we always felt running away from violent madwomen was a good thing. These are my children. You and your kind abandoned them. You're Feraldum. Like us. But you feast on sweetmeats while your people starve in the Undercity. That's on you, traitor. And on the perfection was that sent you. Turquoise should be mine. Then my children will have a whole city to play in. Evelina loved us. She saved us. Why would she try to hurt us now? Evelina would never hurt you, child. That was a demon. Remember her as she was. A brave, kind, loving woman. I... I'll try. She won't be the last. Both sides will do anything. And stuck in the middle. I just don't know what we'll do now. Take this, and use it wisely. Thank you, Messer. I should go buy some food for the others. They've been hungry for a long time. <laughs> 